On the line with us, Patty Cruz and Connor Hicks. They are activists with uh, NYC Shut It Down, Bash Back NYC, and Cop Watch. Uh, you can tweet them at Shut It Down NYC and at Cop Watch. Patty and Connor, welcome to the program. Hello. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, and for our, our our folks who are viewing on TV from time to time, we, we have some pictures of your colleagues who were, uh, I don't think either one of you were uh, uh, injured in this attack. Or were you? Tell, tell, oh, Connor was. Tell, tell us what Connor happened here. Connor what's what's the story, Connor? Or Patty? Hi. Okay. So um, it was a Saturday night when my friends and I decided to leave uh, the uh, after celebration party at Decolonize this place in Lower Manhattan. A couple of my friends and I decided to go grab some food after the event. We were walking happily, feeling liberated after all the work we've been doing with organizing and movements. Uh, it was at the corner and intersection of Walker Street and Broadway when four or five white bulky guys approached us, including a brown petite guy who appeared to be from an Indian descent and also a Trump supporter. They were yelling obscenities uh, as their tone, the tone of their voice grew louder as they crossed the intersection. They began to chant Trump, Trump, Trump after observing them come from the direction where the M15 bar lounge was located. My friends and I were, uh, we were like shocked what was going on. We didn't know what was happening. They were literally com confronting us, coming forward. They were heavily intoxicated, and it was clear they were targeting my queer and gay friends, whom were uh, black, Puerto Rican, white, brown. And uh, they pointed out uh, their, uh, one of the guys pointed out one of their bracelets, uh, like Blue Lives Matter, we're Donald Trump forever, and uh, they caught us in the confrontation, and, started, and we started chanting back queer liberation and Black Lives Matter and self-defense, and that's when uh, one of the six foot two hefty, bulky white guy approached us. He had a hat and he referenced to us his Blue Lives Matter bracelet before he began to attack. So he was definitely an NYPD and Blue Lives Matter supporter, a homophobic and a racist. And um, um, the other Indian descendant guy was a Trump supporter. He started initiating and pumping up the rest of the Trump supporters chanting Trump, Trump, Trump. I and uh, the other individuals were scared, stiff, petrified, and when the 6'2 foot Trump, support, uh, Trump supporter was beating and uh, punching uh, my friend Colin, uh, he was on the ground trying to block himself in self defense, and everyone else was scattered trying to um, remove every of the Trump supporters off of our friend. So I couldn't stand there uh, looking at this guy um, beating, pounding, constantly hitting Colin, who is a, a queer black individual. And I uh, thought to myself, what can I do in self-defense and help him? So I remembered I could just kick this guy. I started kicking him in the prenatal area, hoping that he would stop. He turned around. He grabbed me, grabbed me by my coat. And he uh, swung me. He was helping and puffing. He, he glared at me, and he slammed me against the wall. Thankfully, I had my backpack on. Otherwise, I would be in the hospital for any back or head injuries. Wow. Uh, another another friend of ours named Claire attempted to get the same guy off of uh, Colin. She grabbed him by the neck to stop him. He would not stop. He consistently pounded, as he called Colin, a faggot, you faggot. And he then threw her on the ground. So I stepped back as he tried to swing at me. He missed. <clears throat> Before he swung at me, I, I, I tried to pull him off, and he just uh, tried to, like, hit me. So I saw blood all, all over Col Colin's face, and he presumed to hit him, and I continued kicking him. And I turned around and noticed that Trump supporters were beating on my other um, uh, LGBTQ friends, and we yelled for help. My friends were all getting physically assaulted and beaten, and it just happened so fast. We could not record it. Um, we were not able to get any pictures or images of them. It got so violent quickly that uh, it was their intention to fight. Uh, right. Fight my do you, uh, Patty? Do you uh, and 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 I I I believe Colin is or Connor Connor Hicks is with you too, Connor. And we we just have two minutes left. I wanted to get you in on this. Um, yeah. Do you, do, Connor, do you do you think that these were New York City police officers, or were they just guys wearing Blue Lives Matter wristbands because they love cops? Connor, maybe Connor's not here. Patty, same question yeah. for you. 
Yes, I think Khan is on the other. I've got I've got both of you up on the line. I I don't know how, but in any case, Patty, go ahead. I I I don't know where Connor is, so uh, if you could answer my question. Oh, can you repeat your question? Yeah, do you okay. think that this that the, that these guys were New York City police officers, or were they well, simply you know big burly white guys who loved Donald Trump and were wearing Blue Lives Matter wristbands, which frankly I've I've never seen outside of being worn by police officers. Well, eventually, the guy who was beating up Colin was uh, very built, and he had um, some form of tactics that um, are uh, initially used when the police are being trained, because I come from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, and I know many of these ta tactics, and for him to just shout, Blue Lives Matter, NYPD, and I just felt... So you think he was, was trained as a police, uh, as, as a police yeah, officer maybe anyway? he was trained, yeah. so yeah. I, I believe he possibly could have been an off-duty cop for yeah. him to be so built that way and yeah. he pretty Amazing. much had the Trump agenda. Just, just FYI happened. for our view, our listeners, uh, Alex Rubenstein uh, Stein wrote a brilliant piece on this over at medium.com which has the uh, pictures and things that you can see. Uh, mm -hmm. Patty, is it, there's no way to find out who these guys are now, right? No, which is just upsetting because we're trying to figure out what, uh, if we can grab any uh, images or footages from the buildings where it had happened at the intersection. Um, we are going to try to figure out how we can try to uh, um, identify these guys because it's important we identify them as soon as possible because we don't want any other people of color to face yeah. the same attack. Well, there have been over a thousand of these kind of attacks since Trump was, exactly. uh, was uh, you know, won the election. Patty Cruz, Connor Hicks. Patty, thank you for being with us today. Good talking. You're welcome. I wish you the best.